just got to love rural New Zealand. Another public domain out the back of nowhere. <laughs> Come and have a look at up tea with me. Before we get into the good stuff, just want to remind you that if you like the channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you. This week I've been hanging around in the lovely little Manawatu rural community of Apiti. There's not a heck of a lot to do here. There is a, a pub and a church and a, oh, and a museum. Um, I'll show you around in a little while. But the domain is um, a very basic, uh, the domain where I parked, but it's free. <laughs> <laughs> that's always a bonus so it's got very basic toilets and a sort of undercover area where you could you know hang out uh and you're allowed tents here as well because it is part of the uh uh country road cycle trail that i have mentioned in previous videos and it just made me feel like I was living in the country again, basically. I uh, would watch the cows going, you know, going off on their daily milking or two daily or, you know, how many times they get milked a day. <laughs> um, and just, just enjoyed the quietness of living in the country again. Got some washing done, you know, different things like that as well, which is always, which is always great. Uh, but I'm heading off down to Palmerston uh, pretty soon. I might find another camp space on the way there, but we'll see. Come and have a look around Apiti anyway. You'll find Apiti about 40 kilometres north of Fielding, and the campground itself is about a kilometre out of town. Lots of space to park. Beautiful mature trees so you can park in the shade because I've got to get some washing done <laughs> I have parked on this side that's the road in you might get a car once every 20 minutes <laughs> so I don't think road traffic's going to be a problem very glad to see that water tap there and by the fact that it's dripping up there the tank's full so I won't feel bad about grabbing some water looks like there's more parking in the back paddock as well so it'd be a great place to have a rally not that I'm into those sort of things You can just hear how peaceful it is. It's the shearing stands. So for those of you that know about the sheep that we've got in New Zealand, <laughs> we have competitions at our AMP shows to see who can shear a sheep the fastest. There's so much land with these A&P showgrounds or public domains. This is the ladies' toilet. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. Basic, but clean. Even a bit of history. <laughs> right. I'm staying in a cemetery. Oh, a bit of firewood. Too big for my fire though. Look at the colour on those hills. Mm, more piles of firewood. <laughs> Looks like it's pretty new wood though, so. Gorgeous old tree. The gate in from the road. my parking spot down there I always feel much better when I've got a lovely view out my back window and of course a good tree to hang my washing from and then I went for a bike ride into town which is only about a kilometre down the road up at the museum closed today unfortunately and across the road 
the local tavern. Lots of these cool signboards around telling you about the history. So this is the main street. <laughs> I think that's a petrol station there, but it's not open at the moment. Fire station down there. Another information board across the road. And a cool deer in somebody's garden. At the hall, they had a really cool swap bookshelf going on, which I thought was really cool. Went for a ride around the back streets of Apatee and found this little property. Cool. There's a few tiny houses here. I'll see if I can find some more. Thought I'd seen another one. Isn't it cool? I'll see if I can get a bit closer. Ooh. There you go. Isn't that cool? I don't think I'll go up the driveway though. <laughs> this is on the road on the way into Apati. This was another place that has a lot of history to it. And it's some very quirky statues. These are outside the local pub. <laughs> uh, more information boards about things in the area. You will appreciate the irony of this when you look around. Hilarious. And another tiny house with a huge garage. And then the sun started to go down and the light through those trees and on the hills in the distance were just amazing so of course I had to take a few <laughs> sunset shots you know what I'm like with those sunsets you wait it gets better look at that love that shot And I won't bore you with any more sunsets. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure to share with all your friends and subscribe to the channel because there'll be more up soon.